Hi, my name is Pablo Yanez and we're back. Now that we all have Google accounts, we're ready to go into Google Maps and start creating our own maps. To do this, uh, you'll want to go to maps.google.com. Once the page loads, you'll see a pretty much standard Google Maps page. It looks like every other Google Maps page that you've seen. Um, you may have not have noticed that there is a sign up sign in button in the upper right. When you click on that button, you'll be prompted for your user ID and password. My uh, username's pre-cached, but you you'll probably need to type this the first time. So I will type in my password only in this case. Once I'm signed in, things look very similar. Only now in the upper right, you'll see that it shows my name as well as some other icons that we can talk about in later tutorials. When you click on the My Maps link, you'll see that in your case, you won't have any maps, but you'll get this Create button. When you click on the Create button, you'll now have a new box in the upper right hand si uh, left hand side. And uh, if you click on the untitled map, you'll be able to give it a name. Uh, let's create one called um, William and Mary Attractions. And we'll give it a description of things to see at William and Mary. Once we save this, you'll see that now that box in the upper left has changed. And now it shows the correct title and description that we've given it. At this point, we're all set to go and start adding information to our map. We'll move on to the next tutorial.